Good day everyone! I am Donita Rosalbico and for today's video, we are going to talk about the story Yesterday by Haruki Murakami. But first, let us go through the biography of the author. Haruki Murakami was born in Kyoto, Japan in 1949 of January. He grew up in Kobe and then moved to Tokyo, where he attended Waseda University. After college, Murakami opened a small jazz bar which he and his wife ran for seven years. He is a Japanese novelist, short story writer, and translator, whose deeply imaginative and often ambiguous books became international bestsellers. His first novel, Hear the Wind Sing, won the Gonzo Literature Prize for Budding Writers in 1979. He followed this success with two sequels, Pinball 1973, and A Wild Sheep Chase, which altogether formed the trilogy of the rat. Murakami is also the author of the novels Hard Boiled Wonderland and The End of the World, Norwegian Wood, Dance, 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 South of the Border, West of the Sun, The Wind Up Bird Chronicle, Sputnik Sweetheart, Kafka on the Shore, After Dark, 1Q84, and Colorless Tsuruko Tazaki and his Years of Pilgrimage. He has written three short story collections, The Elephant Vanishes, After the Quake, and The Blind Willow Sleeping Woman, and an illustrated novella, The Strange Library. Additionally, Murakami has also written several works of nonfiction. After the Hanshin earthquake and the Tokyo subway serene ga gas attack in 1995, he interviewed surviving victims as well as members of the religious cult responsible. From these interviews, he published two nonfiction books in Japan, which were selectively combined to form Underground. He also wrote a series of personal essays on running entitled What I Talk About When I Talk About Running. The most recent of his many international literary honors is the Jerusalem Prize, whose previous recipients include J.M. Kotsi, Milan Kondera, and V.S. Naipaul. Murakami's work has been translated into more than 50 languages. Haruki Murakami is an iconic figure of postmodern literature known mostly for his unreal, humorous work of fiction focusing on loneliness and empty-mindedness of Japan's work-dominated generation. He now resides in the United States as an enthusiastic marathon runner, a hobby he acquired at the age of 33. Characters Tanimura, friend of Kitaru, the narrator of the story. Kitaro, boyfriend of Erika, a guy who speaks Kansai dialect, even though being born and raised in Tokyo. Erika, Childhood sweetheart and now girlfriend of Kitaro. Synopsis of the story yesterday. Tanimura remembers a time in his early 20s when he worked in a restaurant with his friend Kitaro. Kitaro has a few idiosyncrasies that cause his girlfriend Erika to feel uneasy about their relationship. He speaks in a Kansai dialect despite living in Tokyo does not want to study hard despite having university aspiration and seems to be asexual around her. One day, Kitaro proposes that Tanimura go on a date with Erika to which Tanimura reluctantly agrees. On their date, both talk about their personal lives. Tanimura's girlfriend could not commit to him while well, Erika admits that she is seeing another man because of Kitaru's apathy. Despite her unfaithfulness, she admits that Kitaru holds a special place in her heart and has vivid dreams of 
them as a couple. Tanimura retells his experience with her to Kitaru during their next shift, omitting certain details. A week later, Kitaru quits and Tanimura loses contact with both Kitaru and Erika. Sixteen years later, in his thirties, Tanimura sees Erika at a wine tasting event. He reveals that he is married but Erika is still single. As far as she knows, Kitaru is a sushi chef in Denver and is also still single. He goes on to ask whether she had sex with the man she mentioned on their date years ago. She replied yes, but it did not lead to anything and that she still thinks about Kitaru on occasions. The title of the story comes from the Beatles yesterday and how upon hearing it, Tanimura is reminded of Kitaru's playful mistranslation of the lyrics into Kansai Japanese.